thanks to user group for giving me this opportunity and i have shared my screen so uh, can you please confirm that it's visible yeah yeah it is visible and uh, welcome all once again uh, this is the uh, group for dynamics 365 uh, this is called dynamics d365 uh, user group india you can search it with uh, that name and uh, we have our uh, um, pages and we are uh, we are having our group as well so uh, it is recommended to follow all those uh, because it might be a case that we are uh, we are now having two sessions from uh, dhanras sir uh, that is more on the business central and then going forward on the uh, uh, then we will at the end i will announce that what all uh, there is uh, coming in uh, probably we have power bi sessions also uh, with an integration and uh, we will get started now thank you all and uh, i will hand over uh, to our today's speaker uh, uh, our today's speaker is tanraj bansal uh, and he has having 16 years of experience uh, within um, the dynamics world and uh, he's very experienced, he's very knowledgeable, and he's very approachable. In case you need uh, more help apart from this today's session, uh, definitely you can reach us. Same way, Satya sir is, in, in, uh, is from finance background, FNO, as well as the core finance people, CA. So in case you require more help from him, you can reach him on the uh, LinkedIn. And same way, this is Umesh, and, uh, and today is, I'm, your, I'm hosting actually this particular event. And uh, I'm from uh, like in Microsoft background, uh, more towards the cloud and the finance and operations CRM. So uh, business center as well. So definitely uh, in case you require help on infrastructure side or a solution architect point, definitely you can contact me as well uh, on the LinkedIn. So I will uh, not uh, get you waited all. Uh, I will just uh, uh, ask uh, Dhanda sir to start his session uh, with the introduction. Thank you. Uh -huh. Once again, thanks, uh, uh, Omesh. Uh, and uh, it's good to see that uh, D365 User Group India is doing uh, wonders, doing great job uh, in sharing knowledge and uh, collaborating and all. And I would like to thank uh, Satya also and uh, uh, all the best and rather not best, all the best. I would say that his, doing, his book is doing great job. I've gone okay. through the book and it's really a great book. Yes, at least that book is uh, very good for business uh, and uh, those who are uh, not on a functional side, but they are just uh, looking for it that they can migrate to at least they can switch their careers. So that's actually very great. Great. I will share those links also while uh, we progress in the uh, session today. Thank you. Yeah, right. At times it happens that people are in technical side from a decade or even more than that, and uh, perhaps they get stuck in debit credit. So everything uh, the book will clear your concepts and uh, yeah all that uh, so having said that uh, and uh, let me also uh, say sorry or apologize for, uh, this session was supposed to be last week and due to certain reasons we had to postpone that so sorry about that and uh, uh, let me get started so uh, coming to the agenda of the day uh, uh, we will uh, talk about introduction and user interface of Business Central uh, uh, means Dynamics, uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, which was earlier known as Dynamics NAV, and prior to that it was known as Navision. Uh, we will see that how old or how stable the product is. It's a, uh, 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 although it's a technical or introductory session, we will try to cover some history and geography also of the product. So we will see a role center in Business Central, various modules, what are the capabilities of the product and features of Business Central. OK, that's on the agenda part. Something about me, uh, as uh, Umesh said that uh, I'm working in Dynamics NAV Business Center from last 16 years. I did my master's and tech from Indian Institute of Science Bangalore in 2005. After that, got through campus in PwC. Uh, I was uh, I like sharing knowledge means contributing in communities and all that. So I was active in communities and due to that I got a recognition which is known as Microsoft MVP from two, in 2010 and which was subsequently upgraded, uh, uh, which was subsequently uh, renewed also. Uh, I've done PMP project management professional PM, my ACP certified Scrum Master, XPWC, XKPMG. And these are various my social media handles, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. I have a channel on YouTube where I uh, 
upload the videos related to MBA 800 exam of uh, Business Central. So uh, please feel free to connect with me and it will be a pleasure to uh, discuss, get connected with people. OK, so let's talk about the history. First version of Navision, uh, it was known as Navision, was released in 1987 in Denmark. So the origin of the product is in Denmark. It's uh, so 87 means uh, 34 years it is completed and it's a very stable product. Now it's on cl uh, cloud, so software as a service uh, in the SaaS model, as well as on-premise option is also there. Uh, product was acquired by Microsoft in 2002. So uh, uh, after acquisition by Microsoft, we have changed. Uh, we have seen drastic changes. Uh, the product got improved a lot in last 19 years. In September 2005, Microsoft rebranded the product and released it as Dynamics, Microsoft Dynamics NV, which is now known as Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, abbreviated as BC, cloud-based ERP system for SME, small and medium enterprises. And the latest version uh, is Dynamics 365 Business Central Wave 2 2021. So every six months, we see now major release, uh, releases of the product and uh, uh, even monthly, we have hot fixes and uh, minor releases also. Uh, sir, one point. Uh, yes, uh, we please. can't see you. Uh, we are looking for your video. Uh, <laughs> what happened? My camera is on. Yeah, if, if that's a technical issue, no problem. We can go ahead. No, no. Up to you if you want to share the device. Sorry, did Satya you say that um, you are able to see me? No, no, we are not able to see. But uh, in case there is a technical uh, issue, uh, let's leave it. Yeah, since uh, camera is on, network is OK. I don't know what's the issue, so uh, leaving. Uh, yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah, no problem. We can continue with this okay, session. Thank you. Fine, thanks. So uh, uh, Microsoft is adding about 800 uh, new customers every month, with, uh, which is about 40 new customers uh, per working day. Uh, Business Central now has over 15,000 customers till April 2021. It's about seven months old statistics on its SaaS software as a service platform and is seeing 200% annual growth in users. Uh, we can see various case studies or the uh, companies which are using uh, Business Central on this link. Uh, I'll cover, I'll show how the product uh, looks and uh, I'll give a demo. But uh, if those who are interested in having a uh, ha having a free version of this for trial purpose, so here, here is the link. And maybe uh, once we upload the video, perhaps we will share this link uh, so that users can uh, try free trial version of the product. Okay, coming to what is Dynamics 365 Business Central, a business management solution for uh, a business management solution for small and medium sized organizations, SMEs, small and medium enterprises. Uh, it manages financials, automates and secure the supply chain and helps to sell smarter. So it has a uh, um, uh, it has various modules, but uh, financial, supply chain, uh, trade inventory, service management, manufacturing, uh, etc., and automates and streamlines business processes, helps improve customer service. Uh, it has a CRM, uh, customer relationship management or relationship management module, also project management module, for project performance and optimizes operations. Core capabilities. So we have financial management. In financial management, there are accounts receivable, payable, AR, AP. Bank reconciliation, we can reconcile the bank's uh, bank statement. Fixed asset, FA, asset, month, year, and closing. Then sales and service management, uh, user can create quotes, sales quotes. Uh, contact management, sales invoicing, opportunities, payment processing. 
In supply chain, we have inventory and purchasing control, shipment and distribution, returns and cancellations, credit memo, procurement and vendor management. Coming to project management, capacity planning, jobs, resources, budgets and estimates, jobs and process cost, costing resource management, operations, forecasting, production planning, manufacturing capacity, warehouse management. And it has strong uh, reporting uh, means reports, customer insights, self server reports, interactive dashboards, integration with Power BI, integration with the Outlook out of the box, integration with Outlook, and uh, various third party uh, integration with various third party tools can be done. It has out of the box, in box integration with Dataverse or CRM customer engagement built-in intelligence. <clears throat> Financial management, we will see uh, later on in the demo also that uh, uh, we have accounts receivable, payables. Uh, we can receive payments from our customers, uh, pay to vendors, bank reconciliation, FA fixed asset management, month, year end closing, uh, on the sales front or service management, we can create quotes. Uh, if our customer or prospect who are not yet customers have requested for quotation, we can generate quotation, create contacts in Business Central, convert those contacts into vendor, bank, or customers. Uh, we have contact management, sales invoicing, complete sales cycle, purchase cycle, and uh, uh, I'll have a second session which is uh, scheduled next week, which will in which I'll cover the sales process in Business Center and payment processing. Uh, it has beautiful um, a shortcut, a, a shorter way uh, for registering the payments which we receive from customers. Then project management. Capacity planning, capacity planning of resources. What are the resources available? Their capacity planning, resource skills, uh, budget and estimate, jobs and process costing, resource management. On the supply chain management, inventory and purchasing control, we have forecast, we have procurement worksheet, planning, shipment and distribution, returns and cancellation, provision to return, or cancel. Uh, we have provision to over receive, receive more than what we order in case required. Procurement and vendor management. Operations management, forecasting, production planning, manufacturing capacity, warehouse management, reporting, customer insights, self serve reports, interactive dashboards. We will see that how Power BI can be utilized, can be leveraged, and how out of the box it has integration. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is available in software as a service SaaS on cloud and on premise version is also available. And uh, SaaS uh, uh, software as a service has certain advantage in terms of capex uh, capital expender, uh, expenditure is not required. We don't have to spend on the server. We don't have to spend on the uh, initial costing on the license and all. So in the subscription base module, uh, subscription based uh, uh, we pay monthly or at, def at a defined interval of time and there is no initial huge cost earlier it used to be that we have to spend on server hardware uh, licensing and all so subscription option internal and external users like uh, ex licensing requirement for internal users named user and non-perpetual uh, whereas external users like our vendors or our customers or those, uh, they don't require full license. So external user is included with the organization's internal user SLs. So it is out of the box integration with Outlook using Outlook add-in. We can manage uh, Context relevant business central data right in Outlook from Outlook. We can create quotes from Outlook. We can create 
contacts or customers. A lot of stuff can be done from Outlook. Uh, it is tight integration with the Excel. We can uh, export the data, import the data uh, to and from Excel. We can edit the data in Excel. I'll show that we can export the data uh, from BC to Excel, edit it, and then upload in the publish in the business center. Uh, integration with Power BI reports embedded with Business Central pre-built Power BI apps and connectors and Power Automate for workflows and approvals. Power Automate. The product is easily customizable uh, using AL language Visual Studio Code. We can extend it, customize it as per the requirement of the business. Using extensions or apps, product can be customized easily. Per tenant extension, we have PTE per tenant extension using AL code. Uh, there's large and growing pool of add-ons of ISV available on App Source. If you go to App Source, we, we will find various uh, ISV solutions. Like uh, in the case of mobile, we go to the App Source and we can download various uh, apps. So similarly, in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central also, the ISVs uh, uh, publish their solutions. We can download it, try it, and uh, uh, later on, if required, we can buy license and all that. So it's in the more or less same similar mode. We can install the app. If required, we can uninstall also. Easy integration with third-party system is using APIs. So uh, Business Central has APIs. We can publish APIs. API pages or code units or whatever, and then those can be consumed from third party system or using third part. Uh, we can consume third party APIs. We can call or use third party APIs from business central. So the integration, real time integration can be done. Product has a familiar GUI graphical user interface, which is similar to various MS Office suits. So because uh, MS Office is so popular and uh, having user interface similar to uh, MS Office gives it an edge. Out of the box integration with Outlook, Microsoft Teams, etc. So it has integration with Teams also. We can publish uh, the items from Business Central to Teams or it has integration with Teams. There are various country specific localization from Microsoft or partners. For example, for India, we have India localization product, which is from Microsoft. For some countries, there are localization uh, solutions which are done by partners. So various countries uh, specific localizations are also available. On the app source, we can see various uh, solutions published or app published by ISVs. Coming to the user interface, so user interface is similar to other products. So there we see app are the app are at the top business central page. We can see various apps available: Outlook, Word, OneDrive, Excel. App launcher allows you to quickly navigate to 365 apps. From here we can launch other apps. 365 Home. And I've shared the link for a, a trial version. So uh, those who want to get into this and have not already done, so you can use trial version of the product. There is something called search for page or tell me icon. Earlier it was known as search, but uh, now it does more, much more than search, uh, search for page, uh, additional things than just searching for page. And now it is named as tell me. So using tell me we can search and it's not just limited to same word. For example, uh, in business central, we call it item. And in some other ERPs, I think it's called product, maybe in CE or others. So some synonyms names can also be used. If we search by uh, product, then also it will open our item uh, page. And it has some artificial intelligence also. You can search for pages and reports by using tell me icon, which is also commonly known as search for page icons. Search can help you quickly go to the elements such as icons, actions, pages or reports, find information about how to complete a particular task. The own current page section lets you find and perform actions on the page that you have open. So when you search, you will get the on current page. 
you will get go to pages show all details and reports then we have my settings using my settings we can change the company the company in which we are logged in we can change our role center if uh, 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 that depends upon the permission whether we can change role center or not but uh, if uh, permission is there we can change our role center role center uh, decides the user interface the initial user interface which you see on the product so company uh, it's uh, sometimes in some other system it's known as legal entity so it's a container it's an, uh, in the environment there can be multiple companies the changes that you make will only affect your workspace you can do your personalization you can add uh, items as your favorite for example if you uh, someone uses a purchase invoice uh, repeatedly in a day or uh, very frequently so uh, the user can add that as favorite so that it will look at the front end. You can change the role center, company, work date, region, language, and notification field on my settings page. Role center. The initially what you see on the product. Uh, Omes, uh, is my business central page visible now or uh, did I share just the PPT. No, can well, you confirm that? Yeah. Can we you are please confirm that? Yeah, we are not able to. Can you see it now? Yes, yes, we are able to see. Thank you. Thanks for coming. So here I'm you uh, logged into business central. Business central dot com and logged in. So what I see over here, this is my role center. This is one page at a, a type of page. There are various types of pages in the business central. So this what I see here is a role center. And my setting I was talking about here is my settings. Now role center I'm used. Uh, I'm using the role center of a business manager. If I change the role center, for example, if someone is from sales team, um, sales order processor, so that user will be given role center of a sales order processor. Uh, now you will notice that uh, I have activities and this is my current user interface. If I change it to sales order processor. Then it uh, most of the activities which I see, uh, which I'll see over here uh, will be related to sales order related sales order processing. The user who does the day to day activities of sales related. Now again, I'm going back to business manager. So activities, these are activities. Now, camera, incoming documents, various queues and um, insights business performance various kpis dashboard it will show it will graphics power bi reports okay the report in box so this page roles uh, is decided by the user interface is decided by the role center which is assigned to you right now i am logged in into company kronos usa there can be multiple companies in the database in the environment so companies, for example, in this one, uh, my company, Kronos USA and Cloud Week. These are the companies. Companies also known as legal entities in other application, other ERP systems. Work date is my work date, uh, which will be used in data entry. So I was mentioning something like 
favorite. For example, if a user is doing purchase order related activities very frequently. So what he can do is Uh, purchase order click on this one add bookmark to your role center so if i click on this one so my purchase order is add uh, this is added as a shortcut here so i'll not have to search every time and i'll not have to go into purchasing and then search for purchase order rather it will be added at the front end itself headlines this also i can change i can customize it actions okay back to so this is my role center okay the role center now can you see my ppt presentation or do I need to change again? Omer? Yeah, I think uh, I think you need to uh, uh, switch back again. Yeah, so one question uh, then Raj actually somebody has posted uh, his name is uh, Pavan. He was yeah. asking that can we use uh, the database multiple database for multiple clients or um, how it is? It is not recommended. Multiple databases for so you showed that there will be multiple databases like Chronos, uh, my database and uh, okay, Cloud. multiple companies you mean uh, yeah, uh, company. yeah, OK, so. Uh, for example, one company has office in US or uh, India and Singapore. These are various entities of a group company. Some company XYG US XYG has office in Singapore XYG has office in India. And all these countries will have uh, their own uh, legal statutory requirement. Taxation will be different. So uh, uh, then one database or one environment uh, and will have three different companies. XYG US, XYG uh, Singapore and XYG uh, your India. So three different uh, companies can be there. For example, uh, here I was showing uh, my Kronos USA, there can be Kronos India, there can be Kronos Singapore. OK, so basically the question was um, we cannot use it uh, for multiple clowns, clients like let's let's suppose I have one client as uh, client as uh, Google and second client as Microsoft, so they cannot reside in one uh, business central, correct? Because what will, the, legal, what will the need of uh, will they be uh, what will the need of having same uh, database uh, if these two are altogether different or some sort of competitor or, or if there is no collaboration between those. So correct. why would they like to have same database? Correct, correct. Yes. So Pawan, it is not recommended as I suggested. Yeah, thank you. You can continue with uh, the session. Yeah, in case uh, there is any such means uh, uh, if uh, Microsoft or Google or some other company which have no business relationship, if there is no intercompany transaction between these two companies or something like that, why would they like to have same database? Uh, yeah, I was sharing my. Uh, is my PPT visible now or what is that you see on screen? No, it's still uh, business central is visible. Yeah, we can we can see the PPT now. So role center represents the home page, a starting screen that is designed for the needs of specific role in an organization. So I showed you a sales manager uh, order, sales order processor. I showed you a business manager. So uh, there could be CEO, a role center separately for CEO who will not like to go into the 
details of the transaction, uh, but rather would like to see KPIs, key performance indicators or graphs and charts. OK, so the uh, the role center, uh, there could be a role center for CEO or top management also separately. So based upon your role in the organization, different role centers and different accesses. Uh, and there is security or permissions related things also. For example, uh, uh, if I'm a salesperson and I should see only my customers, then that provision is the, there. For example, uh, if uh, a user is, uh, let's talk about uh, all the uh, payroll processing is not there. For example, the user should not see the salary of the other. So data restrictions or what you can see in the system, those uh, security setups or roles and permissions are there. Depending upon your role, the role center gives you an overview of the business, your department or your personal tasks. It also helps you to go to daily tasks and find work that is assigned to you. To change the role center settings, how to change the role center? I'll have to go to my settings in the, uh, which I showed you. In the right top corner, select the setting icon and then select my settings. On the my settings page in the role center field, select the role center that you want to set as your standard. For example, select accountant, select the OK button different parts of the role centers. So we see ongoing sales. These are queues and tiles. So tell me or search was there at the top. This is my uh, tell me or search. Tell me what you want to do. For example, I want product. So in Business Central, we call it items. But even if I'm searching with product, there are search uh, enabled based upon synonyms. So product is set up as uh, set as a synonym of items. So it shows me various options show all 12. So this items list is opening. So when I search. go to reports documentation various documentations create a get from microsoft app source notifications settings then we have help account management departments various departments insights user tasks my user task pending user tasks there can be approval related entries approvals pending approvals email status self service favorite accounts or my items my accounts all the can be done trial balance these are various departments finance cash management sales purchasing Home sales, finance, cash management, purchasing. Queues and accent tiles. Role center provides a diverse set of queues and accent tiles. A queue provides a visual representation of aggregate business data. For example, here I see uh, purchase order 13. So if I go and click on that, I can get into details, but it is giving me an overview of that. Open sales invoices or total sales for the month. Queues are interactive, meaning that you can select the queues. You can apply various filters, drill down. Uh, there are options to see product videos, getting started, learning related th things, insights, company, a legal entity or company like we saw Kronos, Kronos USA, my company or Cloud Week. Profile or roles. So these are various 
roles which are already there in the system accountant accounting manager bookkeeper business manager we can define which is the default role when you create a new user which roles get as default role we can enable or disable some roles that these roles are enabled or disabled we can create new roles from here for example if i want to uh create a copy of business manager and create a new role business manager modified the name So now this one is created. I can customize pages. For example, uh, for the business, the new business manager, let's say I want to hide chart of accounts. I can do that. You have previously personalized the business manager if you want to reload this page without it. And let's say if I want to remove purchasing or remove certain things from here. This is currently hidden. If I want to display it, show. And once show this one also. Favorite accounts, Power BI, My Job Cues. Okay, once I'm done with that, and if I say yes. Close the browser tab. New business manager, if I select this one. So here we will notice that purchasing is not there. The things which I uh, set as hidden are not there. Company hub, which was not available earlier, is visible here in this one. My job queue was not there in the business manager. Now it's visible. So this way we have uh, created a new profile. So what what are the customized pages? Which pages have we customized? We can see that and if you want to clear the personalization, the modification which we did, we can do that as well. Profile extensions. Now let me show you Excel add-in. 
this is my customers list page and if i search for excel open in excel or edit in excel So if the requirement is just to export the data in Excel, that I can do. But in addition to that, if I use edit in Excel, Uh, then we can't see anything uh, right okay, now. Okay. What about now? Yeah, yeah, we can see now. Yes, thank you. So we are using edit in Excel so that we can export the data uh, from Business Central to Excel. Do our modifications there in the data mass modifications or whatever modifications, and then we will see how to publish that back into Business Central. So right now, if you see uh, the data from BC is exported, I have six records which were there in the. These six records, so 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 and this one. So let me uh, modify some of the existing fields. Let's say for customer 20,000 tray research, if I change this name. OK, I can do this modification, but when it comes to the data, which is uh, called flow field in business central, which is calculated field, these are not editable. For example, balance of the customer, I cannot edit in Excel. Currently it is 3036.6 and if uh, I want to change it to 10,000 or something and uh, I'll update, publish it into BC, it should give me error. Because uh, balance will come from the transactions or uh, history of the transactions of the customer okay so uh, i'll do control z uh, right now i have modified the name i can modify update its customer's credit limit if it's there or its address but not the balance okay so new name, School of Fine Art also, I am changing its name. And control save and publish it. So Publish successful workbook updated. Now, if I go to Business Central and refresh, Mm, it is still showing me. Oh, search name, I think I modified search name, not the name. Let me modify name. Uh, 
and So now we see the name is updated, new name. New name and new name too. But in case I change this balance, which is ideally should not be updatable from outside. And if I go and publish, change made to read only fields. So these fields are marked as read only and I, we cannot change those will be reverted continue okay yes so the change is reverted i updated it to 10000 now it's reverted to 3036.6 which was our, the value earlier credit limit i can modify it Process two changes. So if I go and check for this customer 20,000, what is the credit limit? 20,000 earlier it was zero. So this way we can edit the data in Excel. I'm in customer card, so there are three uh, this option share to teams. If I click on share to teams. OK, so there are certain limitations due to account to which is uh, I think I have not used this for teams. That's why it is showing. Otherwise, I can share the data in teams. We have various fact boxes associated with, for example, for vendor. There are these are the statistics. What is the balance of cost vendor outstanding orders? Uh, various queues, quotes from this vendor, blanket order, orders, invoices, and all that. So I think that's it from uh, my side, Omis. If there are any questions, we can address them. Yes, yes, we have the questions. Thank you, Dhanda sir. And uh, the questions, I think, uh, is uh, first question is already an answered. The second question more is towards the licensing. How licensing are uh, managing uh, for uh, business uh, center? Is it the same with uh, FNO? So basically, people are trying to compare uh, the <laughs> licensing with respect to BC and FNO. See, there are uh, broadly two types of license here. One is essential and the second one is, I think, called extended. So essentials has uh, all everything except manufacturing and service management module. So if you are using essentials module uh, license, you cannot use manufacturing module of the BC and you cannot use service management module of the BC. Uh, and extended license will allow you usage of those two modules also. So that's on the uh, uh, essentials and extended, but uh, team member license uh, will again depend upon whether you are using essential or extended. Uh, there are external user or some uh, uh, very cheap kind of license. For example, outside user can use your maybe perhaps vendor or someone can use uh, and that has limited capabilities. So I think that's on the licensing front. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so there was second question from Ranjit. Uh, how Dynamics 365 Business Center is different from Navision 2018? So uh, basically, uh, he's adding further more question to it that only cloud part is added to like in Business Center or there is no difference between the functionality in the Navision 2018 and uh, Business Center? Uh, the main thing he has covered that cloud part and on top of that, uh, Microsoft keeps releasing every six months these and there are certain enhancements uh, uh, on every release. For example, maybe uh, 2018 is not having over receiving functionality and certain other stuffs which come with every new release. But uh, a functionality perspective, maybe 90, 95% or 97% same. Correct, correct. Also, so there is some more question from Ranjit uh, based on uh, the defining of the, the uh, dashboard. So can we define dashboard based on the role center or user group specific? See, on the role center uh, dashboard, what you attach, will depend upon your role center. For example, uh, uh, the sales order processor will not see what a CEO sees or the business performance, what he would like to see will be different from what a CEO would, or CFO would like to see. So that uh, that's how it is uh, specific to role center. You can say that. OK, OK, OK. And uh, the next question followed uh, by uh, Ranjit is uh, so now data ports are replaced with edit Excel functionality. Uh, data, uh, I believe he's talking about data port slash XML port and edit. Uh, we cannot say exactly same using data port or XML port. You can import the data from XML or different file formats. OK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but add it in Excel or configuration package for that matter. Are not exactly replacement, but to a certain extent has uh, more or less similar purpose. It is not okay. a replacement. It is not that XML port is gone. Uh, so when the user asked the question based upon data port, so replacement of data port is I think XML port data ports were there. I think up to and maybe 2009 or so. And then we have XML ports, but XML ports are still there. It is not that XML ports are removed and we have edit in Excel. No, that's not the case. OK, OK. Yeah. Does that answer his question or maybe if he would like to extend his question or if he would like to have any subsequent or supplementary questions? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, there are a couple of. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Ranjit, you can unmute yourself and uh, talk to us. No problem. Uh, floor is open yeah. for open discussion and uh, the questionaries. Thanks, Umesh, and thanks, uh, Dhanraj, for sharing this valuable information. Uh, yeah, so right. I was just because uh, I was working in uh, Microsoft Navigation in from 2007 to 2010. So I have uh, worked in Navigation uh, quite long back. So there okay. we used to uh, use this XML ports to upload the data. The uh, uh, when we uh, move from legacy system to dynamics right? right yeah so now you've shown us a, a functionality of edit uh, excel where we can modify some data so i was just yeah. thinking like uh, can this edit excel used for uh, uh, when we do a legacy uh, uh, or say data migration from legacy system to this dynamics or we have to still use those xml ports uh, see i think uh, yeah you have Good question, great question. So I think you are talking about opening balances or when you start the company. So we used to do XML ports and all that. So now we have configuration package or configuration worksheet. Using configuration package or worksheet, generally we import the data at the initial stage. So we can define which tables, which fields we want to uh, uh, use, and then we can ex create a package, export to Excel. For example, we have defined payment terms, currency, finance charge, uh, these this is the list of the tables. OK, I what I can do is export to Excel. It will take some time, but let me just show you that. So what will happen? We can uh, for importing data at the initial stage. We can use configuration package. 
Okay, so uh, data ports are no more there, but XML ports are there and still in use. Okay, maybe uh, extension to the uh, the integration maybe on the data ports and uh, XML files. Right, XML port can be used uh, for importing, let's say, day to day, uh, some sort of integration that you have a folder where you place your files and you want to import those. So for that also you can use. Correct, correct. Yeah. So configuration uh, package is there for importing data maybe initially or subsequently also. So config, we have configuration package, we have edit in Excel, and we have XML ports also still there and will remain there. Okay, okay. So for uh, example, I, I was showing that payment okay. terms, currency, and these data is created. Now you can edit it and bring back into the system, or maybe initially these will be blank, while you are creating new company or while you are importing data, you will insert the data and bring it back into business entry. I hope okay. that answers his question. Thank you, Dhanraj. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And I think we have uh, Gulshan raising his hand. Yeah. Hi. Hi, everyone. And first of all, thanks a lot for the nice session. Uh, I was not able to join from the beginning, but I joined in the mid and I really enjoyed the part, for example, in Edit and Excel. And I do have one question from Edit and Excel. So when I download, when I download, let's say I go on customer card and I use Edit and Excel. So what are the default columns which comes in? And if I want to add any column, because you know on customer cards there are like hundred fields. So if I want to add a particular field, then what is the way? Okay. Give me a minute. Let me just. Sure, sure, no problem. Yeah, before answering your question, I would like to uh, also say that you are also doing a great job. I think I've seen your sessions. I, I believe I'm talking to the same person, right? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Good. So, yeah, good you for you're that. Also, yeah, you're also, uh, you're doing a very good thing there. Uh, Gulson, I, I don't have a, a exact answer to this. This is something yeah. I'll have to try explore it. Okay, 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 no problem, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, I know in a in a, there is a Excel configuration template I don't need for it. So might be in business uh, central also there might be something. Uh, not properly audible. Is that Satya? Yes, yes, yeah. is it? This is can, can you hear me? Now? Yeah, now it's better. So can I'm saying in Pinot there is a configuration template where you can add or remove the in the template. Uh, Satya, you're not you're not uh, ad audible uh, correctly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I now? got the I got the answer though. I not the answer, but in FNO, Satya is telling that there's a configuration template in which you can add and remove the columns which you want to export. But yes, okay. uh, this uh, we don't have in Business Central and not in the Edit and Excel part. Definitely, we do have in configuration package, but I have not seen an Edit in Excel. So. Does it add it in Excel uh, export all the fields and we don't have any choice perhaps? Uh, my understanding is it will export all the fields. Uh, I no, might because be if, if it exports all the fields, then it is going to be like a lot of field, like more than 100. <laughs> so yeah, it I doesn't... think, uh, oh, okay. For example, let's try it. No? Uh, 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 yeah, sure, uh, sure, sure. On the screen, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, looks like 10, 12 fields only, okay? Okay. Uh, on the For the customer. Customers, customer list. Okay. What happened? Okay, this is my and not D H. So yeah, it has lots are, of uh, yeah, uh, lots of. eighty plus at least eighty plus. So uh, up to A to Z, and then we have A A A B this way, 
and then B series, then C. So about okay. 78 plus 79, 80, 81 fields. OK, OK. In that case, uh, we do need to verify that whether uh, it appears like it is bringing all the fields. Yeah, I think somewhere I read or my understanding is that it uh, exports all the fields. OK, uh, so in that case, again, <laughs> uh, because if you know export all the fields and if the user say, OK, I don't want these many fields, user will, end user will say. So do we have any provision? Because I was not able to find anything like that. That I let's want only say, these 10 let's, fields, let's say. Let's say we uh, while importing it back. OK, uh -huh. let's say I keep only. These five, six fields and the rest I delete. While the template is there, OK? Uh, uh, I added this template. I have kept only these four, uh, six fields, OK? Mm -hmm. And now I change new name to back to something. Add it in Excel. Add it in Excel too, something like this, OK? So the system has given me a template which is having 80 plus fields. Now I selected my uh, selected fields. In this case, I have kept only uh, I think six fields and I did my data entry and now I want to publish it. Mm -hmm. Will it allow? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's OK. Yeah. Zero changes were successful. Six errors were encountered. Let's show me errors. Actually, edit in Excel is Please. not configurable uh, as per my understanding from Microsoft. Uh -huh, yeah, so uh, edit in Excel may not be. Then we, we need to use uh, as it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. perhaps. And then right. perhaps uh, if yeah. you want to do that, you can use configuration package. Exactly. Yeah, but the thing is, it won't it won't export all the fields actually. Uh, I I uh, I used and um, it missed a few of the fields and uh, not the customized fields also. Ah, uh -huh, exactly right. Yeah. So okay. It's not okay. Or customizable, it is we should use as it is. Yeah, from Microsoft. Yeah. OK, OK, and and I just want to add one more point here, but initially uh, when we got edit and Excel functionality, it was not there in Reckoning Journal. And due to that, we had a problem on which I posted a separate video because in uh, a Reckoning Journal, you don't have edit and Excel. And also like in other journals, we can copy paste the data back to the journals like we can export it into Excel, edit something, add more lines and copy it back exactly to the journal. But this was not happening. In Reckoning Journal. So recently, I believe in, in the last update, uh, 2021 mm -hmm. Wave 2, uh, this has been added on Reckoning Journal as well. So I did an Excel is now available in Reckoning Journal as well. So, which means in the future, we can expect that uh, removing adding these <laughs> fields, what exactly. you are expecting will be there. Right, 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 right. In near future. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Thanks a lot. Uh, any further questions, Umesh? Yeah, there was one question on the minimum number of licenses used by, to be purchased. So FNO is definitely 20. Uh, business Center, you can start with uh, one or two uh, that I have seen. Should not be an issue. Um, can we change the posting group in Excel and publish in BC while posting groups get changed? Or we have to do manual on the customer card. So this is the question from R. Bharat. OK, uh, I think you can do that. For example, uh, OK, right now we were having this. Uh, customers data, right? Uh, so somewhere posting groups would also be there. General business posting groups, domestic. What are the options? Let me see what are the uh, options domestic and. Uh, and we will change that. Let me okay. create a new one. So for customer 10,000, uh, I have uh, as of now domestic. Everything is domestic, in fact. Where is that? General business posting group domestic. Now I'm in my.
So if it, if you have not created customer posting group, it will also automatically create an update, right? One second, uh, just a second. Uh, no, I think the data master data should be there. International. So we created, I think, a general business posting group, not the customer business posting group. So I have changed it for first two customers. Okay, mm -hmm. and now I go and publish it. There might be some validation which is running, so. Yeah, validation will be there. For example, uh, now we will see that. It is published. It is published and I'm going back and checking there. So international is there. Oh, perfect. Okay, Very now if I enter something which is not there in the master in the, uh, okay. Uh, let's say something like we add, change it this way and publish it. Mm. Errors, okay. So the data, if international two is because it's not there in the master, it is giving me errors. If I change it back, so those kind of validations are there, and I, I expect it is really good that it is validating. Otherwise, you can enter any junk or anything. Sure, sure. So let's pick up the next question. Uh, the next question is, can we have manufacturing processes integrated in business central? Manufacturing? Manufacturing process integration. Manufacturing process integration. I, I, if the question is related to manuf whether manufacturing module is there as a part of business central or not, then the answer is yes. But you need extended license for that. In the essential license, uh, manufacturing is not included. So manufacturing is there. We have production order. We have formed planned production order or finished production order, bomb, bill of material, assembly, planning, capacity, and all that uh, work center. OK. OK, so we have one more question like what are the limitation of external users? Please explain what is the list price from Microsoft? What is the list price? Yeah, listed price for Microsoft. Uh, on the pricing part, I'm not clear. I'm okay. sorry about that. OK, Lies, uh, uh, pricing part, I'm not clear. OK, OK, no problem. We will take it uh, offline. Country to country, Which... this can be different also. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, um, what are the limitations for external user license, uh, Dhanraji? So basically, you're talking for uh, accountants or external users? External users. Actually, um, one of my customers um, wants to use for uh, their vendors uh, to place the orders or to check the uh, purchase orders and all. So how how we can provide them the license for the business central? I think it will be having the standard cost uh, for the external users. It, you just need to uh invite them in the uh, excel uh, in the uh, aad azure active directory and if you okay. have the licenses they should be able to use the same licenses actually the cost should be standard like probably it is uh, like um, 18 or 20 dollars per user so same thing will be applied the team member license no. was uh, uh, eight dollars yeah, yeah. Uh, Umesh, I think we have an internal and external users and external users has certain limitations and uh, cheaper price Correct. OK. But exact Def uh, integrated Def details, what, uh, what they can do. Yeah, definitely uh, functionality will be reduced, right? Yeah, uh, they have limited uh, access. They can do only modify or uh, limited tables and all. There are certain limitations. Sure. OK, fine. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Next question is coming from which GST report is available in uh, Business Center? Which GST report is available? Huh? Yeah, I think it is uh, it is more towards the India localization. India specific India localization. Yeah, so uh, I have not worked on India localization. Correct, I have correct. primarily what worked on W1 only, so correct. not in a position to answer that question. Yeah, no problem. I guess we can use designer option in Excel to add extra fields. So that's the comment from uh, uh, Ali. So is uh, that a edit, uh, a comment for editing Excel? Yes. yes. Hey, Tanraj. So I was just thinking that uh, was that uh, design option is there for. So is it to hide those uh, extra columns that probably the user is not interested, or is it just to add 
add those extra column which are not at the front end that we exported or it's not in the configuration of uh, it to Excel and then we just want to add and see the values. So I, I was just thinking, I mean, and because there is an option called design, right? Yeah, so uh, that's a valid input. That's a valid suggestion, but this is something which we would like to have uh, ha would like to, would have to explore and see. Uh, in design Some... option, uh, um, I hope uh, there is no design option for the production environment. That is only for sandbox environment, actually, as of now. They have removed last year itself, the design option for production environment. Design so... for Excel, right? Yeah, no, when, uh, when, we, when we do the public refresh, right? So there is a last option called design. So I'm not sure about that uh, that particular thing. Uh, if you open your Excel and then you can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm opening. So you are talking about design. This one add ta add table, add fields, ta labels, data source. When we say add fields, so I just thinking that maybe those fields that are not visible right now, probably we can add and see here. So is it not yeah, that by default sense. everything? But it is giving some other tables also, right? Yeah, pre-existing tables can be used, like uh, pre-existing fields can be used, I think. Fields is OK, but looks like this is other tables also. Job list, job list, job planning line. It is uh, so, for example, my data, this one is related to customer only, customer list, one table, right? And uh, why would I like to have fields from jobs or some other uh, table, which is perhaps not even directly related? Or it's probably when we have a customer and then we have a corresponding customer ledger entry table just to see in the next step. I'm I'm not sure of that one. So is this is this the use of that one? Mm. Not really sure. We'll have to try. Okay, sure. Thanks. Sure, no problem. Thank you. We will uh, take the last question. Uh, do we have retail modules as well in the business center or what is the best retail ISV? Uh, retail, I think a well-known uh, add-on LS retail. So uh, yes, uh, LS yes. retail is having point of sales and also LS retail is a add-on or a, a ISV solution. So mm -hmm. I think generally that's what is used by retail companies. Correct, correct. To add on uh, licenses, we have uh, device licenses also, which is actually tagged to the point of sale machines. Uh, just uh, for an uh, everyone information. Um, the final question is about the dimension flow in which table while posting the transactions and how many dimensions we can create in business center basically. You can create a number of dimensions. There is no limitation as such, but uh, when it comes to defining shortcut and global uh, at a GL setup, general laser setup level, we have eight and uh, I think those eight maximum those eight can be used in analysis per purchase. Analysis, I'm talking about analysis by dimension and all, but uh, in, in case you want to attach it, for example, in purchase order or some document, you can attach any number of dimensions as such. Correct, correct. So I think uh, we are done. Any questions, any reviews, uh, any any thoughts for today? OK, if not, then uh, the next session uh, which we will be conducting uh, will be in the same continuous uh, with an advance uh, from uh, Nanda sir. Uh, it will be on. Uh, it will be on sales process. Some, yeah, sales yeah, coming process. week, coming week, coming fourth, fourth, fourth December. And then uh, we will definitely have uh, the last session of the year would be on 11th December, which will be of uh, the uh, more towards the power bi embedded in finance and operations so uh, keep yourself uh, posted on that uh, subscribe and do like the channel definitely you will get the alerts uh, on on those as well yeah thank you very much thank you Dhanal, sir. thank you Satya, sir, Thanks, sir, for, for giving me the opportunity and it was nice uh, interacting and if there are any uh, any unanswered questions or people would like to uh, ask question later on. They can send me through LinkedIn or whatever uh, media. Okay, so sure. Media. Thanks. Sure, sure, definitely. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Thanks, guys. Bye.
Bye.